Put on the FS56 uh, RC steel trimmer. If you got a trimmer in um, and you set it down and or you have it hanging up in your trailer or you um, and it losing gas fuel and you think it's coming from the tank and a lot of times you don't know and you have to keep filling up with gas, you're not sure where the fuel is going. I'm gonna show you uh, where that fuel is going. Um, a lot of times it's not the tank, it's actually the carburetor. It's, it's a gas bypass and diaphragms and it's leaking past the carburetor coming out the uh, face of the carburetor. So I'm gonna show you a weed that I've been working on for a while and show you what the symptom is, what it looked like uh, when, those, when that problem occurred. You can see that residue that's coming from the carburetor itself. You see it just, what it does is it runs down on the tank and just drip down. You can see that uh, the aftermath of that. So to fix that, we're just going to replace the carburetor. You can see it running down right here as well. We're just going to place the carburetor on it. So we'll take you through the steps of what it takes to replace the carburetor on the FS RC 56. Hey guys welcome back to another video uh like i said we're just going to replace this carburetor on this fs56 this can apply to many different steel weed eaters this can apply to many different brands many different makes of weed eaters uh once you once the gas starts running out the front of the carburetor a lot of i have a lot of clients that are mistaken that mistaken that as a the tank is uh has a hole or crack in it but a lot of times after diagnosing the, and um determining the problem it actually be the carburetor that's bad that causing that problem also it could be a fuel line causing that problem so you just kind of want to check everything you can check before you replace the tank on the machine so right now we're just removing the carburetor um this 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 weeder itself has about four or five different carburetors for this actual model so um, you want to take your serial number um, off the bottom of your steel weed eater uh, and to get that to them in order for to get the exact right carburetor to work on your model. Uh, right now we're just getting the carburetor put back on. You just want to make sure you hook all your linkages back up. Um, make sure everything is hooked back up in the right spot and that everything is working as it should. Uh, this job took me maybe uh probably about 15 minutes at the most um i didn't need any lines or anything uh, i did replace the fuel filter on it and i did replace the plug this we were missing the air filter as well so i did replace it now we're just getting the cover put back on i had to take the cover off in order to access the old fuel lines behind it you probably can do it if you have some long nippets. I have some long nippets, but it's easier to just pull the three bolts out and just replace and just um, replace the uh, fuel line or change the fuel lines out and put the cover back on. Pretty simple. Um, the, the bolt size are some T27s. Um, what size torque bits I'm using and the bolts that I did, that I used to take the cover off that you see me put back on now, uh, was eight millimeters or five sixteenths. Either one of those work. All right, now that we got the cover on, we'll get the air foot to put in. If you buy this air foot, you can see that it has the arrow and it has the front uh, numbering, so you'll know exactly how it goes back in there. Um, now we're just going to um, change the plug on it, which is the plug size is a 5 8. So, you know, uh, you want to get that put in. That was, and this, this plug was like $8. Like that's pretty expensive for a spark plug. I forgot how much they were, um, but you uh, you want to get the right plug. You know, don't try to go after out the market on. You know, a lot of your name brand equipment. Just get the right plug and put in it. You know, so you won't have to be guessing if it's running right or you know you just know it's in it right. Now we're just placing that fuel filter as well. I'm sure, the fuel filter is probably fine, but like I tell you in all my videos, 
If I replace the carburetor, I always replace the fuel filter. It just come and happen. Um, I just believe in doing everything right the first time. I already got everything back together. Now we're just going to choke it, pull it. Shouldn't take no more than one or two pulls to get it started. Yeah, and she's running like a brand new machine. Uh, I did let this weed sit up for a day or so. No leak was detected, so she's ready to go. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys for hitting that like button and subscribe button. It helps the algorithm to pick up my content and spread it out to more people. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.